It's time for another look at the Zoom H4. In a previous video, we covered the fact that your audio options can be selected here on the side of the unit, but you can also go into the menu to choose between WAV files and MP3 formats. This is probably the most handy when you're making other menu selections. You can basically just scroll through and make all of your choices in one fell swoop. Now, in a previous video, we covered the fact that your audio gain for your inputs here at the bottom can be selected on the side of the unit. Inputs 1, 2, and the mic input all have high, medium, and low gains. But you can also adjust the gain in the mixer section of the Zoom H4. And uh, basically what you're doing is controlling the volume and the panning from the mixer menu here. Another option you have in 4-track mode is stereo linking. You can make a stereo channel out of channels 1 and 2, or make a stereo pair out of channels 3 and 4. There's also a metronome. And before you're ready to record, you can check the SD card to see how much time is remaining on the card. When you're ready to actually record, the Zoom H4 records your individual tracks as files and records the entire song as a project. When you're recording in 4-track mode, you can import files from other projects recorded in stereo mode into your current project, but those stereo files have to be recorded at 44.1 in 16-bit. Something to keep in mind if you're planning to uh, get creative with a, a variety of tracks later on. You can also copy files to other projects or folders. Go to the File menu, scroll down to Copy, and press the jog dial. Now it's important to remember when switching back and forth between stereo mode and 4-track mode, the location where those files are saved depends on what mode you're in. When you're in stereo mode, your files are saved together in a dedicated folder for stereo mode. In 4-track mode, your files are dumped into a separate folder created for your current project. And that does it for our basic look at the menu functions of the Zoom H4. By no means a comprehensive overview of all of the things you can do in the menu section, but a few of the basic things you'll need right off the bat. Stay tuned for more videos featuring the deep features of the Zoom H4 at GearWire.com.